Drop the gun! Show me your hands! The list of the 50 most dangerous cities in the world for 2023 has come out, and Detroit, Michigan found itself at number 19, joining 10 other American cities in the top 50. Homicides in Detroit have been over 300 since 2020, and have been around that or higher for years. In 2006, Detroit saw 418 murders, and the lowest homicide numbers since then were in 2018 when the city saw 261 murders. The city has seen a steep population decline since it peaked at 1.8 million people in 1950. Currently, the city has a population of 616,000 people, so its murder rate has hovered around 50 for quite some time. And for some perspective, Chicago's murder rate is about half that. Detroit is the 28th largest city in America and is seeing a decline in population at a rate of negative 3.5% per year. In 1950, Detroit was the fourth largest city in America. In 1940, 90% of the population of Detroit was white. Today, it's 77% black. Violent crime in the city as a whole is 462% higher than the U.S. average. The city is broken down into 92 different neighborhoods, of which most you wouldn't feel safe living in. So let's look at a few of the most dangerous. Now, in most U.S. cities, the worst areas wouldn't exceed over 800% higher than the U.S. average. But in Detroit, those numbers are considered the better areas. The city of Detroit has 25 neighborhoods with a violent crime rate over a thousand times the national average. So 27% of the city has violent crime rates over a thousand times the U.S. average. But we're going to just take a look at the five that are 1,500 or more percent higher. Starting with the Fiskorn neighborhood, which has a violent crime rate 1,527% higher than the nation. This neighborhood sees three times the number of violent crime incidents as a Detroit as a whole and has a population just over 3,000 people. This area is 95% black. The Weatherby neighborhood has a violent crime rate 1,643% higher than the U.S. average also sees violent crime at three times the Detroit average and is 95% black. The Greensbrier neighborhood's violent crime rate is 1,720% higher than the nation and is 89% black. The Brush Park neighborhood is 1,730% higher than the nation in violent crime and is 78% black. And the Belmont neighborhood has a violent crime rate 1,865% higher than the U.S. average. I'd have to dig a little deeper to say for sure, but this has got to be one of, if not the worst neighborhood in America when it comes to violent crime. This area is 96% black. Detroit had 11 mass shootings in both 2021 and 2022. 10 in the summer of Floyd 2020, all up from the four they had in the two years before the Defund the Police movement began. 24% of the city of Detroit has earned a post-high school degree of some sort, and 18% never graduated high school, with 5.5% having less than a ninth grade education. And of those with less than a ninth grade education, 44% live in poverty. Rising violent crime and declining population. Looking at the statistics, Detroit has more than earned their number 19 spot among the most dangerous cities in the world.